In this video, I'm going to show you how we can solve second order differential equations missing the x term. Consider this differential equation y double prime minus 3y squared equal 0. And we have these initial conditions. The value of the function that we are looking for at the point 0 is 2, and the derivative of the function at point 0 is 4. We want to find the particular solution for this differential equation. As I showed you in the previous videos, for solving these type of differential equations, we use this substitution. We suppose z to be y prime. And from this, y double prime is z dz over dy. Note that in this differential equation, variable x, the independent variable, is not appeared. And for solving these type of differential equations, always we use this substitution. We suppose y prime to be z, and then from this substitution, y double prime is z dz over dy. With this substitution, we can write this differential equation in the form of we replace y double prime with this z dz over dy minus 3y squared equal 0. Simply, we can write this new differential equation as a separable differential equation. If we bring 3y squared to the other side, we have z dz over dy equals 3y squared. And from this, z dz equals 3y squared dy. Now that z and y are separated, with integrating from the left side and the right side of this equation, we can find z. Integral of z dz is z squared over 2, and integral of 3y squared is y to the 3. And don't forget to add a constant. Note that z, which here we have, is actually y prime. So if we replace z with y prime, we can write this in this form. y prime squared over 2 equals y to the 3 plus C1. Now here, if we use this initial condition that here we have, we can find C1. Note that, based on these initial conditions, if we plug in, if we suppose we are at point 0, when x is 0, y, the value of y is 2, so if we suppose x to be 0, I know there is no x here, but note that this y and this y prime, both of them are a function of x. So they are dependent to x. When x is 0, y is 2, based on the, this initial condition that here we have. So 2 to the 3 plus c1 equals 2. And based on this condition, y prime when x is 0 is 4. So we will like in 4, 4 y prime, 4 squared over 2. 4 squared is 16, 16 over 2 is 8, and 2 to the 3 is also 8. 8 minus 8 is 0, so c1 is 0. This constant that here we have is 0. So we can write our solution in this form y prime squared over 2 is y to the 3 which if you multiply both sides by 2 we have y prime squared is 2y to the 3 and if here we want to get rid of this power 2 we can take a square root from both sides then y prime equals plus minus a square root of 2y to the 3. 
Now note that because we know the derivative of y, y prime at point zero is four, so y prime is positive. So between positive a square root of two y to the three and minus a square root of two y to the three, we only accept positive sign and we reject negative sign. So when we take a square root, it's not necessary to put negative here because from this initial condition we know that the derivative the y prime is positive and if we put negative here this is always a negative expression which from the initial condition we know the y prime is positive so only we consider the positive sign and it's not necessary to put any positive sign here now note that a square root of 2y to the 3 is a square root of 2 times by y to the 3 over 2. We can write radical as a power. Now note that we can write y prime as dy over dx and then we can write this as dy over y to the 3 over 2 equals a square root of 2 dx. This is a separable differential equation. And so for finding y, we can take integral from both sides of this relation. Integral of a square root of 2 dx is a square root of 2 x plus a constant let's name it c2 and integral of dy over y to the 3 over 2 if we bring y to the 3 over 2 to the numerator we can write it like this and if we use the power rule for integrals this is y to the negative 1 half over negative 1 half which if we bring this up this equals negative 2y to the negative 1 half so and we can write this as negative 2 over a square root of y. So negative 2 over a square root of y equals this. Based on this initial condition that here we have, if we plug in 0 for x, the value of y is 2. So if we use that initial condition, negative 2 over a square root of 2 equals square root of 2 times x x is 0 plus c2 this part is 0 and negative 2 over square root of 2 is negative square root of 2 equals c2 so finally we can write the solution in this form negative 2 s over square root of y equals square root of 2 x minus because c2 is minus radical 2 so this is the solution of this differential equation i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please subscribe in my channel and thank you for watching